What's up guys, it's Eternal here and today I'm gonna show you how to play Janna, so let's go with this. I will play with Jean against Brandt and Fane. You want to start with W first and let's get her skill explanation. So on passive Janna passively gains 80% movement speed and nearby allied champions gain this bonus when moving toward her. Additionally, Janna's basic attacks and single target spells deal bonus magic damage equal to 25% of her bonus movement speed. As for your Q, you summon a Wind which deals magic damage to enemies in its path and knocks them into the air for 0.5 seconds. The Wii Wind can be charged up 3 seconds, and for each second charged it deals bonus magic damage, knocks up for an additional 0.25 seconds and travels 25% further. Q always reaches its destination in 1.5 seconds. As for your W, on passive while W is not on cooldown, Janna gains 6% movement speed and can move through units, and it scales with ability power. And on active, this is your main harassing tool on lane. You deal magic damage to an enemy and slow their movement speed by 24% for 2 seconds. So despite the fact that the Janna is a peeling support, you can actually be pretty annoying on lane. So you want to W and move back, so try not to take damage in return. It's Brand, so they have better damage on lane. Though it's Jin, so he actually has range advantage. The more you poke, the more gold you can have warding this, so Jin can know when Brand is using Q, W for you and overall for Vayne. And that is Q, so... Usually if you want to charge Q fully then you should do that in your bush and when it's not warded it's way easier to just hit the enemy. Just keep in mind that the casting location is your final one so you are not able to control that later. I mean if you're standing in that place for example that even if you move back your Q will just move in one direction. Right, so let's pack and buy this. So with your Q you can interrupt channeling spells, anything, but usually you want to do the shortcuts to protect your allies, prevent enemies engaging on them, so we can stop dashes for example. And you should be spamming your Q so even if you miss, you apply some pressure, it's fine. As for it, it's a shield, its duration is for 5 seconds and it scales with ability power, also granting attack damage for the shielded one, so you can use your E on yourself, on your ally or on the turret. And you should be casting E on your ally in the moment of trading to soak up some damage. Oops, I won't be able to kill him. So you see I'm moving back and it will go in one direction anyway. So just give E to increase the damage of your ADC. And keep in mind that biscuits increase your total mana pool. Keep in mind that Q has no cast time and does not interrupt Janna's previous orders, so you can cast Q, ultimate and then second Q and that won't interrupt your ult. Okay, nice. Actually nice synergy with Janna. So Janna is great with something like Caitlyn or Jin that can dominate the lane with the range advantage. Ah, uh, just one tick, not enough. Yeah, the wave is pushed, so why should we stay? Nocturne will have level 6 soon, so it's not worth. 
The first item that you wanna get is Ardent, what I like going Dark Seal if I'm doing well online. So let's go like this, I'm gonna wait for Control Ward. Let's change the trinket because soon I will have my item upgraded. So about your W, there's one thing. With your passive, if you are escaping from danger alone, then you shouldn't cast W to slow down enemy because then you lose the passive movement speed, so it's not worth it unless you are protecting your ally. So then it's worth, but alone, nope. Losing the passive is just too much. Yeah, he has the range advantage, he wasted his skills now so I can go and try something. If you are going alone then you can shield yourself. Also, I tried to do the combo with my ultimate, that is flash hold. I had the threat aggro though. This is a good spot to ward, you can see everything there. Can I roam? Maybe I can save. Yeah, so now it's way too late. As for your ultimate, you knock back surrounding enemies and start to cover half of your allies and yourself, launching all of him. He will try to go at me, I think. A triple Janna. Actually, she has nice damage on W. And in that situation, you should be doing E on the turret just to prevent some damage. Now. So I'm just last hitting, don't want Jin to lose this CS. So that was ultimate, you knock surrounding enemies back and restore health in the area for 3 seconds each second. So there are many ways to use your ultimate. You can prevent enemies from engaging on your allies or just knock an enemy from the teamfight behind the wall if you are placing that correctly or just knock enemies into your queue for the full knockback. You just have to be creative. For example, you can knock back enemy into a wall with your ultimate for a mini stun and then follow that up with your queue. Yeah, Trinket was there. And that's blocked. He's not on bot, yeah, it's fine. Some gold, thank you. And I just did E, that was enough to soak whole damage of his ability. So you want to max that second of the shield to be stronger. Oh, nice knock up. And just to make it easier, nice. So you should stay with your AD carry if he's good and just try to peel as much as you can. It's worth giving E now while pushing to increase his AD 
the bonus AD is active until the shield is depleted. So let's put that in the back. Oh, actually, Zhao is doing the trick. Also, you can use your old bet to just secure Baron. For example, if your team is doing greedy Baron, you can just kill your allies and that way make it possible. Let's try something. See? You can actually interrupt the Elko's ultimate, for example. That was good. So I waited a bit for the tornado to scale. Also nice synergy with Yasuo. So you can roam a bit later. I have so much gold, by the way. Well, it's not the time to recall now, at this point. And there is our trinket. So we want to build Ardent for heal and shield power and next redemption some health another control ward keep in mind to use redemption at the start because it takes time to just load up you see it's worth taking dark seal if you are doing good in the game I got some free ability power I'll be able to heal for more and shield for more amount So I just knocked Vayne into the spot for Jin, but I didn't notice Velkos actually. I thought it would be so free, so you can just position right with your ultimate and knock enemies into your fat allies for a free kill. If you happen to upgrade the boots earlier, then you can go CDR. Actually, I can still go CDR because why not? Just to have the full CDR cap, and once I build another support item, I just change that into something like Mercury Shreds or Mobility Boots. At this point, let's help teammates and roam a bit, set up vision. So Drake is up soon. Everyone there, they will want the Inferno. Stay indoors today. I need some help from Yasuo. Velkos is there by the way, so... Can we take that? That's greedy. Also remember to stay close to your allies so you can provide additional movement speed for your passive. It's 
So I'm still keeping MIQ. Oops, I took that actually. They have so nice steel fight. Go for Inferno now. Nice. I just had to stay back a bit. I was very vulnerable this time. And I couldn't provide nice all to bed. I was too far behind. We need vision on Baron. I try to set up something for Yasuo. Very nice. And back to Jin. Maybe from this place. My old, who knows. Actually, they are so fat at this point. It's okay. Shouldn't be there by the way. They should have just backed after inhibitor. Oh, thank you.
right, are we rolling? Come on, come to me. Wait. Why not to me? I would give her a shield. <laughs> I was clicking that. I was in range. So at this point with Ardent you can just grant your allies some free attack speed constantly and low cooldown. Inhibitor. Your team has destroyed an inhibitor. So it's fine. We should go Baron now. As five. Stay indoors today. Yeah, let's start it. So sometimes you can just ult your whole team. Twist through health and take Baron. Hey, not so early. said actually redemption first. I think I clicked out first this time just because I wanted to save Jin. Alright so that's it guys. Thank you guys for watching. Hope that you learned something about Jana. Leave a like, subscribe and see you next time.